He is a five-time Paralympic medalist, and he also just so happens to be a double amputee. His name is Rudy Garcia Tolson. He's the first child that the Challenge Athletes Foundation worked with when he was just about eight years old. If you don't know what the foundation is, oh, stick around, we're gonna let you know. So with me now to share his story, Rudy himself, and then co-founder of the Challenge Athletes Foundation, Bob Babbitt. So good to be here again. We are pre I know you guys were just here yesterday. <laughs> we're like, please bring him back in. We love you guys, apparently. You guys are have been so supportive. Well, I mean, you have such a great foundation, and we're going to get to that in a second. But I kind of want to start with Rudy's story, because I've been reading up on you and watching all these videos, and yeah. you just have just in, an incredible story. You've achieved so much. Yeah, thank you. No, I, uh, I'm i happy to be here back in San Diego. Yeah. And as you mentioned, I was the first kid that the Challenge Athletes Foundation ever worked with. I was uh, about eight years old. And uh, being an eight-year-old and being a double amputee, uh, you don't really see too many too many other people who, who are like you. So, uh, you know, one thing that the Challenge Athletes Foundation brought to me at a young age was it showed me that there were other people who, who were challenged like me. I wasn't alone, you know, and, and, and representation in this case was very powerful for me. And I was able to meet other kids who, who are like me and, and other adults who are like me. And we all shared a, a similar bond. You know, we've all gone through hard times, but we never let our, our challenge or our disability uh, uh, make us who we are. And we, we all live by a motto, and that is, you know, the real disability is a negative attitude. It has nothing to do with what you see here. Um, so, you know, I've been, been able to be a part of the foundation for over 20 years now. Uh, now I am a mentor to the younger generation of kids oh, growing up. That. So it's it's such a cool experience for me. And um, like I said, I'm now an employee at CAF. Yeah. So. It went full circle. Yeah. You weren't about circle. to let him escape, were no, you? You're like, ah, no, you're not going no, anywhere, no, buddy. No, you're vindified, yeah. Um, two things that I wanted to say. One, I think, you know, you hit on representation. It's so important. I think we take for granted, like we see people that look like us all the time. Mm -hmm. But as a child growing up and not seeing that, that must was was that hard for you? It was very hard for me. You know, when I when I was growing up, I, I went to a public school. I have uh, uh, brothers and sisters. I'm the youngest in my family. But you know, all through elementary school and and almost through high school, I I, I grew up not ever meeting anybody who who was like me. And so you know, for me to relate to a professional football or basketball player, uh, it, it just it just I just couldn't find anything that we had in common. But if you introduced me to Sarah Reinertson or or Willie. Stewart or Jim McLaren, I, I would be able to connect with these guys because we all we all had challenges, but we never let these challenges, you know, make us who we are, and that's what CAF is all about. Do you remember uh, Bob when you first met him when he oh, was yeah. eight years old? Actually, I met him earlier. I met okay. him right after he had his legs amputated when he was six. Yeah. And we actually honored him. I used to have this competitor endurance sports awards banquet, and we honored Rudy when he was eight years old as our challenged athlete of the year because he was on a relay team where I think he swam 50 yards. Yes. <laughs> he yes. swam 50 yards on a relay team and became our challenged athlete of the year. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just watching him. And the deal is, he's become the Pied Piper. So many kids out there and adults as well. They'll, they'll sit back and they'll go, oh, I really can't do anything. And then they watch a kid who was told, you will never run, run a sub in a mile. You will never be an athlete. And, you know, he's really, sort of an athlete. It, I don't know if this at some point sounds cliche to you, but I think you do help so many people because, you know, we all have rough days, sure. but then we see someone like you yeah. who you just, it's not that it's worse off, but you just, it's a little bit. You, you know, have to work a little bit harder, absolutely. right? Absolutely. You know, we all have our challenges. We yeah. all have good days and bad days. Yeah. You know, there are days where I don't want to put my legs on, yeah. but I have to because that's how I get out the door. But, you know, for all of us, we all have our challenges, you know, day in, day in and day out. And I believe that if, 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 if by me being out, doing sports, uh, going surfing at the beach, if I can motivate and inspire one person uh, to maybe think, you know what, if that guy can do it, then why can't I? Then that's, that's, that's inspiration and, and that's powerful. And, and I think that the world needs a lot of inspiration right now. So if, yeah. if myself and other athletes like me can provide a little bit of inspiration and, and, and motivation and, and, and something to look forward to, then we're all for it. Can I ask, and I'm sure people at home want to know too, when you're having one of those days where you're like, I, I don't want to put them on, I don't want to do anything, I kind of want to sulk a bit, yeah. how do you get out of that? Um, you know, for me, I, I have a motto that I love and I live by, and that is a brave heart is a powerful weapon. And for me, I, I, I take that motto and I use that uh, especially on days when, when I'm not feeling the best, when I feel like I don't want to put my legs on. But at the same time, I always think how blessed I am that I actually have a pair of legs to put on. Yeah. Uh, they might not look the same as yours, but uh, they, you know, they work just as well. So I love that. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> you're blessed to have it, right? That's it. Um, you know, I, I could talk to you forever, yes. but unfortunately we can't. They oh, won't let on. me. Um, Bob, can we talk about the foundation, you know, yeah, quickly and how people can help and what you guys have coming up? Well, we have a couple things going on. We have our San Diego Triathlon Challenge, our Community Challenge Weekend coming up October 22nd and 23rd. The triathlon is on the 23rd. And then September 1st, just opened up grant season. Last year we sent out 3,256 grants totaling uh, $6.2 million to buy. These are $15,000 leg. Whoa. Yeah. These are my running legs. So really? I'll okay. bolt these on when I, when I want to go run. Got it. Um, and yeah, these, these right here are, are, are what we use to get out the door, to get to the starting line and then yeah. the finish line. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And that equipment's not covered by insurance. So that's why really? it's so important. No. None of it's covered by insurance. So well, if somebody that's a wants. Whole other. Totally other thing. But that's oh really gosh. why we started the foundation when we found out that. Anything to do with sports is, is considered a luxury item by oh, insurance okay. companies. Yeah, sure. and we all know how important sport is. No, oh my gosh, I mean, just for your mental and physical well-being, especially Absolutely. mental well-being. Absolutely. Um, is there anything you guys wanted to say before we go? Well, just thank you for all the yeah. support, and if there's any viewers out there watching who might know somebody who can use the support, uh, Challenge Athletes Foundation, start challengeathletes.org. Exactly. Challenge Reach out. Yeah, there it is. Thank Love you guys it. Thank so, you so much, much, Rudy and Bob. We, I'm sure we'll have you back again just because we need so we need that ongoing inspiration. You guys are both such a <laughs> huge you. source of that. So thank, thank you, so you guys. Much. All right, Brandon. CAF, always doing the Lord's work. That is for yeah. sure.